Kohala Hydropower Project is located in Jhelum River in Azad Jammu and Kashmir, AJK, of Pakistan. Its dam and powerhouse are respectively 35 kilometers and 30 kilometers from Muzaffarabad, capital city of AJK, and its powerhouse is 85 kilometers from Islamabad. Kohala HPP will have a diversion type run of river plant which will house four mixed flow turbine generator units each with an installed capacity of 275 megawatts and totally 1100 megawatts. The plant will make use of a gross head of 292 meters. Each unit will pass a discharge of 106.25 meters cubed per second. So the four units will together pass a discharge of 425 meters cubed per second. The plant will on average generate 5,079 gigawatt hour energy per year. The project will form an 8 kilometer long reservoir with a gross storage at 19.9 million meters cubed. Major structures of the project will include concrete dam, power intake, head race tunnel, surge shaft, penstock, surface powerhouse, switch yard, and tail race channel. Kohala HPP will have a curved gravity dam, maximally 65 meters high and 270 meters long at crest. The dam crest will be elevated at 910 meters above sea level. From left to right, the dam will be composed of left bank non-overflow section, ecological flow power plant section, left bank spillway section, low level outlet section, right bank spillway section, and right bank non-overflow section. The spillway with its sill elevated at 892 meters above sea level, will have four bays, each size at 15 by 15 meters. There will be four low-level outlets, each size at 6 by 7 meters, and with its inlet sill at the elevation of 862.0 meters above sea level. The maximum releasing discharge will reach 8,865 cubic meter per second. A tower intake will be built on the left bank, about 26 meters upstream from the dam. The base of the intake will be at 882 meters above sea level. Along the flow direction, the intake will be provided with a trash rack and a bulkhead gate successively. The rack will be cleaned by a mobile trash cleaner. The working gate, sized at 8 by 8 meters, will be operated by a fixed hoist. There will be two head race tunnels, each 17.4 kilometers long and with an inner diameter of 8.5 meters. They will be pressured and lined with reinforced concrete, with the center line at the beginning and end of the tunnel at 886.25 meters ASL and 834.25 meters ASL respectively. The overall longitudinal gradient of the tunnel will be 3%. The twin head race tunnels will be followed by two throttled surge shafts, with their base and crest at 830.0 meters ASL and 942.0 meters AS. Two sets of turbine generator units. The penstock will be lined with steel plate and have a diameter of 6.8 meters. Before entering the powerhouse, each penstock will bifurcate into two branches each of which will transition from 4.0 meters to 3.6 meters in diameter. The surface powerhouse of Kohala HPP will accommodate four sets of vertical turbine generator units, spaced at an interval of 22.5 meters. The powerhouse will be 144 meters long, 49.5 meters wide in the upper structure, 31.5 meters wide in the lower structure, and 71 meters high. The erection bay and unloading bay will be provided at the end of the powerhouse. The unloading bay will be flush with the access road. From the top down, the powerhouse will consist of generator floor, bus bar floor, turbine floor, and valve floor. The main transformers and the 500 kilovolt switch yard will be set on the upstream side of the powerhouse. The step-up station will cover an area of 17 by 144 meters, consisting of three floors, that is, main transformer floor, piping floor, and CIS floor. The platform for outgoing lines will be located on the upstream slope, covering an area of 8,000 meters squared.
The tail race channel will be 96 meters wide and 54 meters long and be lined with concrete. It will join the natural river course at a gradient of 1 to 3. There will be two owner's camps. The camp at dam site will be on a terrace on the left bank, and the camp at powerhouse will be on a terrace on the left of the plant, close to the switchyard. In dry season, Jeloom River will be closed by coffer dams and river flow will go through the diversion tunnel to the downstream river course. In rainy season, the flood will pass through the foundation pit of the dam. The diversion tunnel will be 333 meters long. It will be dug in the right bank with a horseshoe cross section sized at 10 meters by 10 meters. The upstream coffer dam, maximally 20 high, will be constructed of lean concrete. The downstream coffer dam, maximally 8.5 meters high, will be constructed of earth and rock and be waterproof with a grouted cutoff wall. The head race tunnel will be constructed with drill and blast method. The first unit of the plant will be put into operation 79 months. And the total construction period of the project 84 months.